at this moment in your life, mm -hmm. where are you seeking advice and coaching? It's a good question. I've had a very difficult time finding a spiritual community in New York in the way that I found it um, in California, both in Oakland and in LA. What have been the challenges in finding that spiritual community in New York versus what you found in Oakland and in Los Angeles? My spirit is at my core and it is the reason I'm here. And the more connected I am with that source of energy, uh, the more powerful I move through the world. I mean, there's different types of energy. There's your spiritual energy, there's your emotional energy, there's your mental energy and your physical energy. And for me, my spiritual energy is definitely at my core. Um, we had initially found a community, that community, uh, well, I like to say transcended and kind of <laughs> evaporated. Um, and uh, so we are in search now. Currently, we watch uh, Agape Live on Sundays, which is uh, Agape is a spiritual community in Los Angeles, California. And we watch that service li through live stream uh, at noon Eastern Standard Time. And so that's been our way of connecting. Um, but if we could have it here in person, um, we believe that that would be more powerful for, powerful for our growth and development. Uh, I do have a coach um, who I meet with uh, about every two weeks who supports me and holds space for me and challenges me and holds me accountable. Um, so uh, that's been a powerful space for me and I invest in that. Outside of that, it's been just a lot of deep introspection in terms of journaling on a regular basis. I call the first 30 minutes of my day first period, and I use that space to uh, meditate, to journal, to reflect, to read. And so my books and my own journaling and my own writings have been kind of my space of coaching and analysis. Um, but I wish I could have a community of people who have a similar vision as me that I could meet with regularly to uh, work through some of the challenges that I'm having as an entrepreneur, as a man, as a husband, as a son. Uh, that would be a very healthy space for me, but I haven't been able to find it yet. So it's been a solo journey or with the exception of my wife, she's been my greatest source of uh, feedback and accountability and safety. And so I would, and I would call her my coach in a lot of ways. <laughs>